What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to install portable apps on your flash drive. If you open your browser, head on over to portableapps.com. Link is also down in the description below. So what this is, if you have not heard of it, it's a platform that allows you basically to download and run software directly from your USB drive. And you can do this without needing to install it on a computer. Um, it's pretty cool because it has a really large collection of like free open source portable, portable versions of software that we all know and love, popular stuff. So um, again, it's not required uh, traditional installation on a computer and it's not going to leave behind any files or settings on the computer you use them on because it's all run from the flash drive. So to get started on this, again, go to portableapps.com, link in description, click on the download now. It will take you to this other little page here and um, you just click on the little button down here again. And it takes a second to kick in and do its thing. Um, you can see it, um, it downloaded and it's asking me to open the file. I've got mine just on the desktop, so let's pop out to the desktop here. And you'll get a nice little icon like this. Um, so to install it, all you gotta do is double click on that and give it a minute. We're gonna choose English, we're gonna choose next, choose agree. And before we go any further, make sure that you pop a USB flash drive into your computer now. Um, I've already got one in mine. I'm going to open that up and I will show you that it looks like it's going to be the E drive on my computer. Um, and mine is already formatted and clear. And just keep in mind that uh, when you do this, it's actually going to wipe out anything on that drive. So make sure that you don't have anything important on there. Um, and when you do that, you can go in here and right click and do a quick format if you'd like. Um, probably the best thing that is the best thing to do. I've already done that with mine. Uh, but let's get started, assuming you've got your drive in and you formatted it. When you get to this point, you're going to go ahead and just click New Install. And you're going to go Next and then Portable, Install to a Portable Vice. And then it's going to ask you which one here. The only one I have plugged in is the E drive, my flash drive. Just be careful with this. Just make sure that you have the actual flash drive you want to use selected if you have other drives in here. Like I said, it is going to wipe it out. Uh, so then we're going to go next on this. And it's just confirming now. You have selected to install it here. And then we're going to click install. Now it does take uh, just a little bit of time here. Not too bad. Um, and what it is doing now is just installing the portablast.com platform onto this thumb drive. Uh, looks like it is done. Um, we're just going to uncheck this for now. And we're going to finish. Now, once you get that done, uh, you're going to open up your file explorer back up and you're going to cl double click on the E drive here. And then you'll see three files here or two folders in one file. This is the application. So we're going to go ahead and start it by double clicking. And this is what you will get here. This is just a little bit of information talking about, uh, you know, what's new and updates and stuff like that. There's some language stuff in there, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, you can go through that at your leisure if you'd like. Uh, they've got some other tabs here that you can click on. There's a little bit of info. Um, but what we are looking for is right over here. So you can actually just close this. And uh, once you do that, let it close its thing here. And we're going to have to open that back up. Okay. Actually, we, you don't have to open that back up because uh, once you hit close, give it a second, this will pop up. So as you can see, this is actually sorted by category here, which makes it really nice. Um, so we're just going to install a couple of small things here just to kind of show you how it works. Let's grab, I use Notepad++ a lot, so let's go ahead and grab that. Let's scroll down here. Uh, they got this education category, some pretty good stuff there. I mean, even games, which is kind of cool. Let's scroll past that. Graphics and pictures. I did notice earlier that they had GIMP in here, which is a uh, free image um, editor. It's one of the top ones, actually. Uh, so let's go here. Okay, some internet stuff. 
Um, let's see. I've used FileZilla before. I like that. I've got Kitty, which I believe is a version of uh, like FTP. Let's just take a look at some other things here. Ah, perfect. They've got Putty. So we all love Putty. So I'm going to go ahead and just choose those two. And again, you can choose as many as you want. Um, so as long as your flash drive is big enough that you put in there, you can choose as much stuff here as you need to use as long as you're not running out of space. So I've got the two that I want. Um, I've got them selected. So I'm just going to hit install here. And it will take a second for, uh, once you click install, it will take a second to kick into gear. And then it just kind of goes through its little uh, procedure here. Uh, the two that I chose really aren't that big a file, so it really shouldn't take long here. In fact, it might look like it's about halfway done here. So let's go ahead and let that finish up, and I will continue when we're done here. Okay, really didn't even need to speed up the video or anything because it didn't take long. So I'm just going to leave it like that uncut. Um, so it'll tell you that it's done. And all you got to do is click finish. Now, once you click finish, um, I don't think it pops back up. It might, but if it doesn't, go ahead and open your file explorer again. Go to that flash drive. And now you are going to just double click on the portable apps folder here. And then you'll see everything that you've installed, there's now a folder for it. So you can just double click in there and then run the application. And as you can see, it pops right up. So that is the Notepad++. Uh, let's go back, we'll go to Portable Apps, and let's run the PuTTY. Go to PuTTY, run the application. And there you go, there's your Portable PuTTY. And again, it's really cool because it's just running off of that flash drive. You don't uh, have to install it on the computer. So this comes in handy for techs. If you know you go to uh, businesses and homes to work on people's computers, you can pack this thing full of the tools that you need. And just take it with you. You don't have to worry about downloading them on your customer's machine uh, when you get there. Um, now, I believe you can also, yeah, you can double click on the start button here. Um, you can actually run these from here as well um, if you just run the start. So you can like go into internet. There's your putty development. There's your notepad plus plus. Um, so it's kind of like a nice little graphical interface here rather than having to go and browse through it on the file explorer. Um, from here, if you would like to download more apps, again, you just click on the apps. It, get more apps here and then you can tell it, uh, let's search by category, by title. Show me what's new or what's recently updated. Uh, if we go by category, it will bring up that same menu, I believe, uh, which is really easy and cool to navigate through. Yep, there we go. So you can just simply come through here, find something else that you want. Just say we want that and hit install. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to take the time for it. But um, that's it, guys. I just wanted to show you how this works. Again, portableapps.com, an amazing tool for techies and even the non-techies that kind of just want to mess around with this stuff. So guys, if this was helpful, go ahead and click that like button and seriously think about subscribing for me uh, if you'd like to see some more content like this and some computer tips and tricks and just a lot of fun info. Thanks guys.